Hi everyone and welcome to Web is a Step Tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to integrate OneSignal API, which is a push notification API with PHP. But before starting the practical tutorial, let's see this flow chart. Here we have two flow charts, subscription flowchart and sending notification flowchart so what's the story a story starting from your platform it will be your browser or maybe Android iOS or Windows phone it is your device when the user subscribe with browser he send his information the browser information the android device information or whatever to the one signal api one signal api will save this info here in the dashboard and give it a unique ID. This ID used by one signal API to identify this user. It will also called a player ID. Here you will see the device like iPhone, Galaxy or your browser and the platform and the player ID. So, after saving this data in one signal ABI, the next step is to returning the player ID to the device and use this ID to update this device with the targeted tag. In my application, I use a user ID as a tag. You can use an email or whatever you use in your system but why we do this step to updating the tags to this player id we do this to identify a specific user across multiple platforms here we have a user with a player id in android platform this user already have another device in iPhone with a unique player ID and he will log in to our system with the Chrome browser also. How do you identify this user across all these platforms and send the same notification across all these platforms we using tags to identify this user if you don't need to uh, send to specific user to target a specific user you can skip this step and you will not need a tags to filter users so after returning the id and updating tags to this player you can go to the next step the next step is to sending the notification to the specific user we send the notification to one signal api with this information tag equal as example 40 and the message so we have two parameters the tag and the content of the message after sending this message with our platform one signal will take this message and sending it back to the browser the android platform the ios 
or whatever. This is the two flowcharts that handling how one signal work. In our example, we will work with the browser and PHP platform and for more information you can target others platforms through the SDK documentation. Now time to work. Let's go. Step one after creating a new account and after logging you will see this dashboard. You can add a new app. Let's do it. Add new app. The app name as example web easy step tutorial create the app then go to step 2 the configurations or settings go to settings you have all the platforms Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox platform Apple Safari and native app platforms like Apple, Google, Android, Windows Phone, Amazon Fire or whatever. We will practice now with Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. Click configure and then you can write your site. Here I will use the local host to test this ABI. Local host and this is enough. It will be like this. Then the default notification icon. I will put this image. This is a Google Plus image. It will be 64 for width and 64 for height. You can see the documentation to see the recommendation for this image. Let's continue after adding this default notification icon. You will check my site is not fully HTTPS. It is recommended to use HTTPS protocol. It is save. But for now, we will use the HTTP. But for now, we will use HTTP. Now, after clicking, my site is not fully supported HTTP as the one signal over a free subdomain that support the HTTP S. Now, now we will add a unique name for the subdomain. We will use WP tutorial tutorial and click save. After doing this and save, you will see the status is has been active. Now Let's go to our application. Here we create codes controller. We have two functions. One for the subscription and the second for sending the notifications. Okay. 
in the subscribe function we will load this view it is a simple HTML with a simple form and the SDK for one signal as a JavaScript code okay first let's go to keys and IDEs copy the one signal copy the one signal app ID go to the application here replace this app ID also replace it in the JavaScript code then the rest ABI key copy it go to codes and in this curl option replace the key the last step is to change the subdomain name go to our app configure remember this subdomain name copy it and paste here now let's explain what happened practically first go to our app localhost then igniter underscore one signal igniter underscore one signal and quotes after loading the page you will see this message after loading page you will see this message so the question is from where come this message and why this message loading to understand you will see what happened behind the scene let's open the console we will see this message push notification are not enabled yet how this come okay let's open quotes controller to see after loading quotes automatically function index will load it it will call subscribe function which will load the view for site subscribe it is a file in the content directory this view has a form and a script for one signal is decay the form has two inputs the message body and user ID with value 4444 as you see here so what happened behind the scene with this SDK first we going to check if the push notification is supported in the browser or not we create new variable with one signal is push notification supported function and see if it is supported or not if not supported we will see push notification are not supported after checking if the browser support the notification or not we will go to the next step the next step is to check if the push notification has enabled in this browser for this 
URL or this project. If we enable it before, we will see this message. Push notification are enabled. But if it hasn't enabled before, we will see show HTTP prompt, which is this message. And after this, we will see push notifications are not enabled yet in the console, like this. In our example, it is the first time we open this system and the first time we will subscribe to this application. So after checking the browser, it will see it is support the push notification. Then after checking if we had enabled it before or not, he show us this message and in the console we see push notification are not enabled yet. But there is another question. From where we see this data? We can customize it from here. When we initiate the push notification, we can customize the message. Allow, this is allow, no thank you, no thank you. And the message, we would like to show your notification for the latest news. Here, we will see the message. So, after this, we will subscribe by clicking allow. After clicking allow, what happened? This function occurred after subscribe changes. If we subscribe, if we click if we click allow to subscribe, then we will load this function. It will check our status for the subscription. So after subscribe, we will see this message. And then we call the send tag function. Here we can pass our tag. Finally, we will see this console log. Tags has finished sending. Let's test. Click allow and see what happened here. Okay. It will open another window. Click OK. See what happened? The user subscription state is now true. Then we will see tags has finished sending. We subscribe now and send tags. Then we will see the welcome message. Coordinator demos, thanks for subscription. And this is our image. See here, this is the image we chose before. Another info, you can customize this message this is the welcome message you can customize it in any time for more info you can read about it in the sdk documentation another info you can customize this welcome message for more info i recommend it to see the documentation for the sdk web push notification also you can customize the way to fire the notification message here we make it auto register true it is an automatically way to subscribe but you can fire this message the allow message by using a custom link to subscribe now let's see this info in the dashboard open our application here go to 
web easy step tutorial there is one subscription here from where from web push chrome to see the users all the users go to all users here last activate the first session device chrome web push from egypt the language is en the player id and the tag user id equal to 4444 now let's go to the final step which is sending a notification go to our application add your message which is web easy step new tutorial okay click to send the data now you will see this message web easy step new tutorial another thing you can customize coordinator demos as a title from the documentation for more information, I recommend to go to documentation and SDK. Here, you can customize what you need. As example, notifications. Here, if you go to language and localization, you can customize the language you need. Here permission message and requests you can customize the message in android ios or web push notifications here is a full screen permission message and this is the ordinary http permission request and this is what we use which is slide down permission message then you can also customize by using notification sounds for the iOS Android or the web push notification icon here this image you can change and this is the recommendation for the sizes it is very easy and clear documentation this section for Zampile SDK setup you have many many platforms has been supported on one signal in the users and devices you will see every parameter you need to customize for your dashboard thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial don't forget to click subscribe like if you like this video bye